Hey, what's going on everybody? In this one, we have a confirmed hustle and show pack coming next week. So excited for that. I'm going to tell you why it's confirmed and go over real quick if I think it's worth it or not and how to be eligible in all that. So let's just get right into it and let's just check out first the last hustle and show. I might have said flow earlier. I don't know why I always call it that. But basically right now you can see the cheapest one here is eight bucks for Bazemore with a Chioza next at nine and then the highest one is Sadiq Bay at 15 here. So even after the challenge we still have one at 15 and the Giannis challenge is actually at $71. Only 7,000 people completed it. And it was a fairly affordable challenge to complete. I believe it was right around $200, especially if you got one of the packs. It's going to be a lot cheaper. But I still believe the challenge aspect of it is going to be a negative um, if there's around $70, $80 for the challenge reward. But basically, this was confirmed in the office hours by Jacob that was released yesterday, Friday, May 14th or 13th. Yesterday was the 14th. Today is the 15th. So what this means is probably no rare or legendary pack drop next week. We're going to get the Hustle and Show and then the Reserve Pack on Thursday or Friday of next week. So looking for this one early, maybe Monday, Tuesday, or even Wednesday of next week. And basically how we're going to prepare to get this pack is come over here to the Hustle and Show last blog post and see what you needed to qualify for this. So it was only two moments that you needed to have at the time of when it was announced. So this video hopefully will come out before it's announced. It hasn't been announced yet. I'm going to work out work to get it out um, by Saturday. And so just make sure you have at least two moments. Not hard to do right now. You could spend five or six dollars to get two moments. But maybe I would say even just have three moments to to be sure you're going to qualify. They might up it by one or something like that. And now looking down at the stats, we're just $14 for this pack. And what you get in the pack was the one hustle and show plus four common series base two sets. So even if you didn't get a hustle and show, four of these would basically cover the pack and then you get this one and if you remember when the challenge was going on if we come over to add more funds we can look at historical prices i'll link add more funds down below you can check this out if you just search by challenge here and then we can even look at the lowest price one uh, for baysmore in the last month and during the challenge he was right around 30 bucks so just with the worst hustle and, sh hustle and show card, it's going to double the value of the pack that you're paying for. So pretty much a no brainer to go for this pack. And then the most expensive guy, if you weren't completing the challenge and just wanted to, to flip these moments was, let's go look at Sadiq Bay. His was probably close to 40, maybe mid thirties. So towards the end of the challenge, it got up to like 37, 38. Uh, so just prepping, I guess, for a little for this challenge. It kind of looks like right off the bat, we saw a big spike and then a climb towards the middle and then at the end, a big climb. Uh, but don't wait too long because you get a little dip right before it looks like. And we'll just check out RJ Hampton, see if it's kind of a similar trend. So the, it was a similar trend of a big spike in the beginning in the first few hours and then a kind of slow climb and a price got back up to like 35 right before the end of the drop. So if you're looking to just flip it, it's going to be within the first half day of the challenge and then right at the end basically. And the final thing I wanted to cover in this video is just saying that I went live for the last pack drop on Friday of the reserve pack, planning on going live again on YouTube. I'll try to set a reminder video on YouTube and also post in my discord of when I'm going to go live a little before this pack drop. So we can just get in there, hopefully open some packs 
in the live and also just kind of talk about thoughts around the challenges and how it's going to affect the market immediately so look out for that live if you didn't check out the last one i'll link that down below also in this video um, we had a lot of good people in the chat and had a pretty good live stream i had a good call on jordan Poole, who i just bought and last night he had a 38 point game uh, following a couple 20 point game performances so i really like jordan Poole as kind of like a six man off the bench for the warriors hopefully they can make it out of the play-in game and get into a full series in the playoffs so excited to check out some play-in games and also just playoff series in general and they did announce that they're going to have a lot of play in or they're going to have a lot of playoff packs coming and also said that there might be some more even regular season base packs dropping in the playoffs which is interesting i was not expecting them to do that um it could actually hurt the market a little in the playoffs if they're still releasing regular season base packs like like these packs we've been seeing, these release 34 and 36, if they're going to keep just pushing those out every week in the playoffs, could hurt the market even more. I was hoping they were just going to do playoff packs and maybe even do a base Series 2 just playoffs, which could increase the market and finally stop releasing so many moments of these 35Ks. It seems like they're just pushing them out like crazy so we'll see what they do for the playoffs but for right now hustle and show coming excited to see what players are involved in this hopefully we get some more rookies and then also some like higher tier players because that was kind of what was wrong with the throwdowns was they didn't have great players in it maybe like uh, a quarter of the players were pretty good players and the rest were not as good and another thing with the throwdowns is that they, the problems they said was they had the limited edition out of too much. So 1800 was a little too much. They could have maybe pushed it down to 1500 and they had 76,000 packs, which was a lot. And only 150,000 people were eligible even. So basically half the people were getting packs. If they could have bumped it down to like 40%, maybe only released 65,000 or 60,000 packs, we would have had a better value return on the throwdown pack. So hopefully they can figure it out for the next rare pack and have a at least break even at minimum value. And then having some of the better moments like the rookies or higher caliber players will get you a better return on your pack. So, so excited for next week. As always, they always have something going on with Top Shot. We'll see how this hustle and show goes. And hopefully we get one of these packs and we're eligible. So be on the lookout early next weekend week for that and for the live stream. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Another day, another beer.